Hi, Sexy J. Quick and dirty time on the tricky transitions. This one is not a contrast. Okay. So there are certain transitions that require more evidence in order for them to be justified. And there are some transitions that do not need as much evidence. Um, my previous video probably was on the therefore one, which, you know, is a synonym of consequently. So that one requires a lot of evidence as we covered in that video. Okay. So, and then we also have words like, um, nevertheless, which is a contrast, right? And in order for it to be a contrast, I need to be able to say this one word or phrase directly counters this other word or phrase, right? I need to be able to set that up. However, a lot of times I've noticed, right? I'm making these videos as I notice my students make certain mistakes and I catch certain patterns in their uh, ways of thinking. A lot of times the students are picking a contrast sounding word just because at the sign of any contrasty thing in the text idea. So let's look at this idea. We have, um, they have proposed that this one was also weird. I'm also purposely picking the ones that I read and for like good five seconds, I was like, what are you even saying in terms of like, I didn't really see a clear relationship. And if I didn't see a clear relationship, I thought well, my students probably would want me to cover this. So if you look here, this, uh, these seismolo seismologists have proposed something about these volcanoes. Okay. That the magma comes from deep within the earth. That really doesn't matter. The great depths involved marked the Iceland's volcanoes as extreme outliers. And okay, so we have this word here. Okay. Many of Earth's volcanoes are fed by shallow pockets of magma found less than 15 kilometers below the surface. Okay, so regularly speaking, a lot of people are going to go like, oh, this is like on the other hand. Like I'm going to use a, a strategy that Jay taught me. I'm going to paraphrase, put my own transition in there. And then therefore, on the other hand, nevertheless, so that's my answer. But I have to be careful with this paraphrase. Where is the idea that on the other hand coming from? Well, we have a lot of people do this, right? Again, I'm going through like actual mistakes made by the students. Okay. They go like great depths and then shallow, right? Or they go 3000 and 15. Like, Jay, clearly this is a contrast. Great thefts versus shallow. 3,000 versus 15. That's on the other hand. Sure, they would be, except we're ignoring the word outlier. What is an outlier? Outlier is something that is unusual, right? So I already made the point that they are different. So is there an idea of a contrast in this paragraph? Sure, but that was already being done over here by the word outlier. I don't need to do it again here. Okay. Like if I said, um, John and, um, John and Henry are very different. And then in my next sentence, right? I go like, I'm not even John and Henry are very different. Um, for example, John likes uh, pineapple pizza and Henry, I don't know, punches people who eat pineapple pizza, whatever. Right. So this is an example clearly here, then John and Henry are different people and they have differences. That's the whole point. Right. But I would use a transition, like for example, cause I already made the statement, John and Henry are different. So my next statement is supporting that. For example, this one guy really likes the beach. The other guy likes to go to the mountains, whatever. I don't really care. It is. Okay. So it is not a contrast. There is a contrast idea in the paragraph, but the actual transition that we need to answer is not a contrast. I know I'm repeating that a few times, but I've seen so many people in the past few weeks make this error. Okay. So then what am I focusing on? What am I focusing on? Um, it is in indeed the answer here is indeed, um, the things we just said, okay. We have the great depths, 3000 extreme outliers. Okay. So we have the idea that it's an, I, it's an outlier. So it's very different from the others. And indeed, in fact, or, okay. so we have this piece of evidence. We have, it's at 3000 kilometers. That makes it an outlier. You know how much of an outlier it is? Most of them are less than 15. This one's more than 3000. Wow. That is really, really an outlier. So what kind of word should go here? Okay. Let me, uh, give you a sense of how much. Okay. 
obviously you guys are not going to be writing that whole sentence when you're doing the test, but this is, again, you can be very free in your paraphrase. In your head, you don't have to be like, I'm going to come up with this very perfect transition word that should definitely go in here. Because if you were able to do that every time, well, then you would get every transition question right, right? And you wouldn't need to watch any of these videos probably, okay? I mean, still do watch just for fun. I don't know. I'm kind of fun. So I just have to come up with an idea. So here, what's the idea here? We have, oh, it's 3,000. That's an outlier. Here is a sense of how much of an outlier that is. I am giving you a further clarification and explanation, right? Very similar to the other video we have in which the answer was that is. And the word here is indeed, okay? Indeed, I like indeed as an answer a lot. Indeed is a going in the same direction, but indeed is also a very flexible transition, okay? So indeed can be in just a complete agreement. It can also be in terms of um, being more specific, okay? Um, so if I say, um, this proved to be a very popular move. Indeed, his approval rating shot up greatly. So that's adding on and it is uh, um, clarifying and it's uh, specifying, right? So you could do it that way. Okay. Or it could say like, um, um, this was a, um, this was a, a surprise indeed. And a lot of people, uh, were not expecting it again, you know, it can just use it for like, um, anything, or it could even be like, we expected this to go really well. Indeed it did, right? Any type of like, kind of like a positive affirmation. Yes. Type of vibe. You can go with indeed. So how come we can go with indeed here? This was specifically, let me give you a sense of how much this is. Let me give you a scale, right? you can do that with the word indeed. Yeah. Like, yeah, dude, I thought he was rich and like, indeed he was like, had 20 Lamborghinis. Sure. That's fine. Okay. And before I close, I know I already gave a video on the word nevertheless. Okay. So just a reminder guys, why do we not like nevertheless to watch? Right. Nevertheless is not just a contrast. It's also a very specific type of contrast. Okay. So that's what they do with like these like contrast trap things. Number one, obviously they'll give you a better answer, which is C, right? They'll also make it so that the contrast word is a very specific word. So it's really unlikely to be used. Okay. So that's it for um, this transition with the using the word indeed. And we'll just continue with the transition and vocab series at the moment. Uh, if you guys want to see any other topics besides transition to vocab, Please let me know because I'm doing those too, because those are the most request requested. But if you guys want other things, I will do them. Because who is this? This is Sexy J. I can do pretty much anything, SAT, ACT, whatever you guys want covered. Yeah. Okay. So study every day with who? Me, Sexy J. That's the best way. You already know. Bye-bye.